Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Oh, the captain will be happy to hear about this. This young lanky sailor is wrangling his cap anxiously, sweat beating on his furrowed brow. His eyes widen as you approach, and he takes a few steps forward. Good day to you. Uh, if you have a moment, uh, you're not from around here, right? You don't look like you're from the docks. He looks around nervously. I could use your help. What's the problem? Oh, thank you. They weren't lying, so you are kind kind heart, heart sword. <laughs> he runs head through his hair nervously. It's the captain, or rather, not the captain himself, but his chest, uh, his sea chest. He keeps all his valuables in there, packed away safe. I was unloading it with the rest of the things, uh, what was us staying in port a couple of days, and <clears throat> I may have got a little distracted. Marcelino knows the word the building by. I wasn't gone long, just an hour at the salty mast. When I got back, the chest was gone. He sets a pleading look on you. It really hasn't been that long. Whoever took it can't be too far, but the shift's changed. And I'm on watch. I can't sneak off to look for it, and the captain will kill me if he hears of it. I'll get strung up on the yard arm. Please. If you could get it back for me, I swear by the flame I will make it worth your while. You can have my pay. I, I won't be spending it if Captain Fortanero Fort finds out anyway. Fine. Any ideas where the thieves might have taken the chest? Uh, well, the chest itself is pretty heavy. Um, nobody I've asked has seen it getting carried around either. I figure they must have snuck it off somewhere nearby, just out of sight. They can't have gone far. <sighs> There's a pretty good lock on it too, so I'm hoping they haven't got, to ho got it open. Um, uh, uh, unless they take an axe to it, I suppose? Oh god! <sighs> if they've got it open, I really am done for. Any chance you've seen as a boy in Darren? Huh? Oh, sure. He wanted to play on the ship, but I couldn't let him. Fortanero's very strict about that sort of thing. I had to shoo him off. Felt a bit bad about it. Saw him heading toward the salty mast. Not really somewhere he ought to be playing. Hope you find him. What makes you think I'm not from around here? Wait, um... We don't see many like you here at all. He shuffles off. Even at the docks. So you're a sailor? Yes, ma'am. I signed about a half a year back. The pay is decent, and the sight of the sun coming up over the sea. I wouldn't give that up for anything. <sighs> I just wish I would ask around about the captain first. Okay, farewell. Oh. <laughs> Immediately, oh, what do we have here? No. Too difficult for us to open this far now. So we saw the kid walking toward the salty mast. Let's go that way first. A dozen Adiran ships were shattered against these levees during the War of Defiance. Best to heed the astrologers, I find, where tides are concerned. Hmm. Place gets by blood beating in all the right places. Hail and well met. An old man paces the dog and looks out over the water. He's fussing over something large and round, which he constantly shifts from one hand to the other. You're not certain whether the, his wide eyed, gape mouthed expression marks surprise or fear. It seems he isn't either. Uh, you, uh,. Don't look like a guard. He examines you and your equipment more closely. Hey, you wouldn't be interested in making some coppers, would you? He shows you the object in his hands. It's a large, round opal with Anguifian runes carved into it. It glistens with his sweat. See this ship that went down over there? 
I've been looking for someone to help me recover some missing cargo. What was in cargo? He licks his, his lips. He, we started in cold morn and we're making our way down the river, loading and unloading as we went. Business as usual. What exactly happened? He messages the opal in a clammy poem. When we reached Aina's rest, we may have agreed to um, take on a few crates from some place called Caliban Ready Relax. A couple of the lads snuck a peek at the cargo, saw suits of armor and a broken scepter. He shrugs. Don't know why anyone would want a broken anything, but these animators will do buy dirty stockings if you say they came from the ruins. He closes his hand around the old pal in a white knuckled grip. We were almost to the finance bay when the screaming started. I've, been, I've seen my share of power and pros, but this sounded different. I was topside with the captain, but he and the first mate went bellow decks to see what all the commotion was about. When they didn't come back, I looked into the hold. <laughs> he shudders. I saw one of those suits of armor walking around all by itself. It was covered in blood. When it saw me, it started running for the hatch, so I closed it. He squeezes his eyes shut. So, how did the ship get here? He rolls the stone between his hands. I'm just a decade, but I was the only one left. I piloted the ship as best as I could, but I hit rocks as we were passing Brackenbury. I barely made it to Ondra's gift before I had to jump overboard and swing for the docks. I was given up on the cargo, not to mention the payday, when one of the lads pulled us up in his nets. He shows you the opal again. It's part of the scepter. Ah, from what I recall, there were a few other pieces, and I'll bet you anything they are somewhere in the shallows too. If anyone could find them, there would be profit to fall. What happens if I find the rest? You find the missing pieces of the artifact, and I've got an animaster friend from my expedition days who will find you a stack of coppers. He scratches his beard. All I want out of this is a few hundred pounds for my lost baby. If that runs fair, sounds fair to you, I'll give you the stone and the name of my contact once you have everything else. Imad will regards the opal again, seeing as a kid tried the stone up in his net. I would wager you could probably find the missing pieces out in the shells to when Will died. Imad gazes out over the water. Anything else you need? Yes, have you seen a boy named Darren around here? I see him here every day, my Imad Ward. He knows at the half sunken boat. He's the one who found the opal. Good kid, despite the love of a father. Lofer. A skull crosses his literary face. Drag more than others often than sober, and poor company either way. He spends his scant coin at the salty mass when he's got mouths to feed, and yet he feeds his whole born daughters to curse on his family. Hmm. Any idea where the ring could be now? He frowns. That boy lost the ships. He's probably playing Paris with the sailors. If he has to stow away with the cargo. Thank you for the information. You see that lad? You know him old Imad will have remembers the deal. I owe him a basket of mussels for finding that opal. Have you seen anyone come this way carrying a large chest? Come to think of it, I did. He points to the east. They went that way. Couldn't have gotten too far. Hmm. Farewell. East. Yes, that's definitely east. I wonder. Maybe somewhere here or this house. Yeah, we've visited this house already. This is the salty mast. Maybe someone we've already met. This chest. I think I already. Oh, could be. Four people stand gathered around what appears to be a wooden chest. One of them, a grizzled and rough looking, looking character, looks up at you, then sneers. Took a wrong turn somewhere, did you? 
just turn around and walk on. There's a sudden snapping sound in the direction of the chest, and a second, smaller menace of the frustration groan. Damn it! That's the second lock! He looks up at you and stills. Oh. Walder rolls his eyes and turns to you. You've walked down your last pier. Mm-hmm. Sure, yes. but um, if you don't mind. Fireball. And the rest of you just attack them. Following your lead. Brave. Uh, but you already start mm. chanting this. <laughs> and you already do this. Down again. Uh, I think he's. Yeah, I'll be right back. And I'm back. So now let's start with this. Fireball. <laughs> it almost worked. Um. Please yeah. hold fighting. Uh, uh, you do your stuff. You do this. You... I'm here. Yes, yes, I know you're here. Then. The sea chest bears a large embossed sigil of a ship in the world for the narrow beneath it in gilded letters. It's held sh shut by heavy brass padlock. Take it. Oh, the morning circle is complete. Great. Mm, a secret society of animals have been traveling around. Okay, this is the one I read. The secret society, known as the Morning Circle, repeatedly eluded Sagani's pursuit. As soon as Sagani discovered their latest location, they would begin the process of moving to a new town. It turned out that the Morning Circle had an extensive spy network at their disposal. Sorry, at their disposal. Eventually, Sagani managed to capture a senior member of the group who was more than willing to give up information on her brothers and sisters. In a Rhodes and charnel house, Sagani and trusted soldiers of the Manheim family confronted and killed most of the cult's leaders. Though some members of the group escaped, the Erla of Hellsgate, Freya Manheim, was confident that their power in the Deerwood was broken. Thank you. And received some money and mourning gloves. Properties. Denial. I sometimes I feel like I am in denial while playing this game. Uh, okay. This will be done in two days. Hurry, guys. I know it's a long road and I want to see you. I want to look at them just in case they talk about something. It may be important, maybe not important, but it's better to listen to them. And we need to start doing those side quests. We have plenty of those. And apparently the kid went somewhere near the salt mass, so we'll go over there as well. Good day to you. Marciano fidgets nervously. He grins hopefully at you. Any luck like finding the captain's chest? Yeah. Here you are. Contents intact. Y you did it! I, I mean, I knew you would, but... Oh, thank you. It's all here. You're welcome. You saved my life, friend. Truly, I owe you one. Here, this the week's wages, like I promised. Try to be a little less careless from now on. I will! I'll never set foot in the salty must again. He pauses. Well, I mean... 
not while I'm on watch at least. Sure. And we leveled up. And you know what? Mechanics. Me mechanics. Mm -hmm. eh, we don't really need. Mm. Yeah, we don't really need scrolls. Endurance. We could use some endurance. Garn is the beast, but soon face its skin. Summon three times one, I love that. And another talent. Ancient memory. Uh, allied AoE plus 3.1 endurance. Hmm. Sure. Maybe the last focus. Friendly aura plus 4. Not really. And a plus 13 endurance. Uh -huh. Okay, Acolyte Radiance. It is. Thank you. So now we have how much? Five mechanics. And seven lore. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this store. Maybe I will respect those guys at some point. I'll see. Because honestly, oh, not here. Honestly, the most important ones that I understand, as sorry, as far as I understand, the most important ones are endurance and mechanics, because both will help us survive. How do you do? I talked with the ringleader. She's agreed to leave you alone. Maya's brow wishes rise. Well, that's a welcome surprise, and one worth celebrating. Take some coppers and enjoy yourself. Her smile widens. And if you choose to have your fam here, enjoy my special discount. Might as well have a drink or two. This seems like a good pl a place as any to pick up a few sordid secrets. And. <clears throat> Sentry diseases at that. Annoying green warps her blue markings. Now, just what can I do for our commonly last like yourself? And tell me about this place. So apparently no. No one knows about the kid, big Dermsy maybe? No. Wait, do we have something about this? The man who waits home. No. Build to last, and there's a fate. I meant I. No. Hmm, I guess here. And. Emo told me that the Darren likes to play around the ships at the docks. I have heard from Missouri's father frequents to saltiness. It's uh, Darwin and. I really cannot remember his name. Oriko? No. Wait, maybe wait? Wait, his eyes are red rimmed and unfocused. He stares into filthy mug as if searching for something. He shrives and takes another drink. Perhaps you've had enough to drink. His eyes are filled with shame and self-loathing. All that do you want from me? I heard about Darren. Are you okay? Wade turns the mug in his hands. Nope. Not at all. I was taking the boy fishing and I just wanted to stop on the way for a drink. A quick one. So I told him to wait for me outside. I only meant to stay a few minutes. But by the time I came out, he was gone. He stares at his mug again and takes a quick drink. I don't know what I'm going to tell Oda. That 
that's no excuse to sit here. Get your ass out there and look for him. You think I haven't tried? I've lived in Undraskiv all my life when someone's been missing this long. Wait, turns back to his drink and takes a long gulp. Can we kill him, please? Ugh, never mind. Maybe you know something. Hello! Nope. Okay, let's level up before I kill this map. Hmm. I'll give you apprentice sneaker back. Plus 15% damage. Sounds fine. For you, athletics? Yeah, I think athletics. Survival, maybe? Damage reduction? Accuracy bonus versus creature type. Increase bonus, bonus damage versus flanked enemies. If we level this up to 6. My son, do you see your sisters across the moor? I love this. This sounds so beautiful. Rani, there is go speak, speak. I'll catch you by the fiddle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh. Friendly target. Plus 35 endurance, meter fright and terrified custard, plus 35 endurance. Yep. Where is my comrades? Two fingers of daylight. Uh, Presti Digitator's missiles. No, thank you. Users plus. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, runner wounding shot. Maybe something fancy for you. Savage attack. No. Endeavor strike. What would you like? Well, penetrating shot. Uh, you already have low shooting time. Uh. Plus twenty percent of hits covered to crits against targets with low endurance. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do enjoy it. So, shush. Mm, some more athletics, yeah. Mm. No, I think Noxious Burst will be fine for you. Bonus second level spell, yep. That's all, no, we still have our priest that I keep forgetting is a priest. So athletics or survival? Survival. And another one. Bonus movement. Sure. Maybe something defensive for you. Mental fortress? Yeah, sure. Unstoppable or this? Attack. No, let's give you mental fortress for now. Don't get me wrong, if we find the kid dead, we, will, we are gonna kill the father. He likes to play. What happens, at least we're out of that mud hole, gilded veil. I grew up in Gilded Vale. Quaint. That's what I meant to call it. No, nope. you had it right. <laughs> he likes to play around the ships, so let's look around once more. Maybe there will be something. Because apparently stuff likes to appear out of nowhere. What? No. If it makes you rest, eat. No, it won't. That's the problem. It's 
for the becoming day. So the water should receive it soon as well. And rain. Because they told us it would. Maybe I have to go in, in somewhere. Abandoned house. Yeah, let's start with this one. Actually, we haven't been here yet. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. Keeping an eye out. Noticed. The rope coiled around the chair was painfully sketchy. The water in the pail is murky with blood. What happened here? By the way, I think oh, resting is not allowed in here. Wait, 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 wait. This sounds sketchy as hell. Let's see what lies this way. Oh, there's nothing apparently. Then there was someone hurt here. Let's check all the houses. Listen, if you don't mind, I'll take everything. A youngish elven man squints at you in surprise. You can't just barge into someone's home like this. Who do you think you are? Who are you? The elf who lives here. Now get out. Now get out. Okay. Okay. But you have a name, so there will be something we'll... Some business will have with you later. Probably. Although I do appreciate this honest reaction. Addicts. No. A dozen tiny somethings from within the pot of rice. The game minimized, but this indeed lowered. Oh. Come on. Oh, there's something down here. Quickly. I want to go down there. Because as you can see on the map, now we should be able to move. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just me. No, the water did lower indeed. Like this. Mad squelches underfoot. Crabs scuttle out of the debris. A young boy's corpse lies at your feet, half covered in dirt and seaweed. His hands have stiffened around a dagger. A soul lingers nearby. Something confused and lost in the seaside fog. As you reach for the soul, it flashes out. Glowing mist strikes the air around you. The soul can't touch you, but you feel it burn with a feeble, uncontrolled rage. It's okay. I am here to help you. The soul flickers. It ripples towards you timidly at first. As it swirls around you, you experience wonder, fear, and the joy of running between the ships at noon. With a jolt, it pulls you into the streets around the salty mask. Women with painted faces weave between men stumbling in and out of the lamplight. 
father's gone in for a drink, just like always. He said he would only be a few minutes, but it's been hours. The man guarding the door only laughed when he tried to explain this. There's always a back door. In an alley, two men have cornered a woman. Her cheeks are streaked with tears. She backed against she's backed against the wall and moving away. They're inching closer. You step forward. The man barely acknowledges you, but the woman looks at you, a plea in her eyes. You've seen that look in abuse's face, in your whole born sister. That time a father took her from her splintering cradle and the field wash bin wash basin. You were brave that day. A knife is in the fox belt. It's in your hands, and now it's in his thigh. You're small and fast, but not fast enough. Fingers bite into your arm and a muddy boot sails toward your face. Then, everything is muffled by cold, brackish water. The soul retreats from you. It pauses the question. You did a brave thing. The gods will reward you in the next life. Then your soul absorbs the for this thought and ebbs in the ocean mists around the dock. A young boy's corpse lies at your feet. Take the dagger. The boy's small hands are rigid in death, but you pry the dagger free. It looks too large and too expensive to have belonged to him. The letter B is carved into the pommel. You mother. Yeah, but first I need to check this out. Oh, oh! Um, rain blight. Rain In uh, do your thing straight away. Uh, you start doing this. I will start doing this. You. Four. That's one of the things that I that we look we This is one of the things we are looking for. That I have no idea why it's so hard to speak today. Not getting through me. Brave thou not hear me. Keep doing your thing. Wait. Um summon the thingies. You yes. also please summon the thingies with this. Muscles cling to the bricks and planks, their shells sharp enough to cut flesh. Hmm. 
pretty sure those are all of the parts. Uh, just a quick, quick if we can go down here. No. Uh, what about here? No, this is the ship. This, it looks weird. No. no. Here, no. Uh, no. But we truly do must go to the salty mast. But first. Oh, camping isn't allowed here. You asshole! It's yours! Good day, stranger. Can I investigate somehow? Where is it? Um, quest items are here, I believe. Carved an ornate handle and be carved into the pommel. I'm fairly sure it's his. His limb. Maybe he knows something. Good day to you. Or not. Your son is dead. Darren was defending one of the women here from a couple of thugs. Wait seems to serve for you. My, uh, my, my, my boy died while I was here. Oda, my, my, my love. <sighs> she always said I'd come to no good, but I never thought. You need to tell Oda what happened. What's the use? It's over. Our son is dead. She'll never have me back. This is where I belong. Ah. I wanna kill him. You are just a chef. But really, you could not add one to one. The guy. Limping. Oh, it's yours. Um, okay. You better not try anything. Okay, go pay for night with Sarah. I think she's the one that was uh, cornered. Hello. I'm here for some quiet time. Quiet, loud, however you like it, as long as you pay up front. I've got ladies, lads, and a few I'm not quite sure about. Go talk to whoever tickles your fancy, unless you fancy Sarah. In which case you can settle with me. What can you tell me about Sarah? <laughs> oh, you must be new in town, dearie. She's only the most sought-after girl in the district. You want to spend time with her? Just ask. She's a thousand for the night, but she's worth every pound, or so they tell me. Fancy a go with her? She nudges you in the ribs. I'll give you a special rate of 500 for to thank you for your help with my little problem. Sure. You'll find her quarters upstairs. She lays a large hand on your shoulder. Don't mind the burly fellows at the, the, her door. They're just there to make sure everyone has a good time. Well, maybe she's not the one. <laughs> But I am very sure we spoke to every one of them. I mean, I tried to speak to every one of them. Hail, traveler. Paul powder almost hides the circles under her eyes, and rouge dust her two prominent cheekbones. Despite it all, Sarah is beautiful. She favors you with a smile she must have practiced and perfected. Hello, stranger. 
Let me make you more comfortable. It is rather warm in here. Hmm. Good day, stranger. Mm -mm. So she's not the one. Uh, or maybe it was your. Nope. Wait. Barketh, Baldin Og, Bulug, Braktash. Maybe I can ask those guys. Tell me about this place. Hmm. How do you do? Who are you? How much? Okay, no. Well met, friend. Tell me about yourself. How much? No thanks. I am just wishing that one of them will tell me. Hail and well met. Something happened, but apparently not. Which is weird for the end. Because we do know that someone was a abused here. I Good day, stranger. I just find who it was. Like I said, it's really weird. I'm very sure it's him with the limp. Well, but that is gonna be it for today, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!